Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on season one, episode two of my Arcane Reaction series. This episode is called, Some Mysteries Are Better Left Unsolved. And let's get watching. Jason? Everyone on this show's been through it. Whoa. Who are you anyway? I'm assistant to the dean of the academy. Who it may serve you to remember is also head of the council. He sent me here to ensure that anything dangerous is removed. Ugh, our team caused that guy a whole mess of trouble. Ah. What a curious principle. What manner of inquiry was this? Professor Heimerdinger, I... Professor what? Professor who now? Ooh, here we go. Ah, she's so cool! Maybe just don't take powder next time. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yes. those crystals yeah no shit <laughs> the bander i knew the one who built the underground wouldn't be afraid to fight do i look afraid no you look weak oh <laughs> spill it echo <laughs> uh, okay well um vander's Gotta deal with the enforcers. Here we go. Magic. Arcane talents are something you're born with. They can't be fabricated. Actually, I believe it is possible. Has anyone even tried it before? The arcane is the curse of our world. My race was nearly destroyed by it. <laughs> Cannot happen here, my boy. It must not. What he did was foolish and, and unwise. But he has a good heart. Oh, does she have those finger coverings because of the um, frostbite? It's like the version of prosthetics. Come tomorrow morning, his research will be safely disposed of. Lock up. No, no, no. Magic is far too dangerous. Here. Uh -huh. Okay. Beautiful, aren't they? No. There's a monster inside all of us. What? No. No, no, it'll kill me. Oh, I don't think he cares if it's gonna kill you. Your name's no good now. My dad says you're a misfit. And that we can't be friends anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. Ashamed. I just wanted to explain. I think you've done enough. Do whatever it takes. Turn the undercity upside down if you have to. Just find them. I don't like that guy. How about a proper drink? Then I'll take the strongest shit you got. Escape the past, right? Here's shame if I had to put them on again. Cast irons, well, it's hard to clean. Ah. 
mistaking arrogance for bravery. You think you're standing up for something? But we all know there is a crime behind every coin that passes through this place. What a hypocrite. I grew up knowing I'm less than them. That my place is down there. I want Powder to have more than that, and I'm willing to fight for it. So was I. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. I know you want to hurt the topsiders for what they've done to us. What are we going to do? The enforcers will come back. I'll figure it out. Oh, she doesn't seem totally convinced. Oh, no. Am I interrupting? You signed your notes. Every page, I might add. A little egotistical, don't you think? <laughs> Is that why you came? To insult me? You're on to something. I want to help you complete your research. No one thinks it can be done. I don't even know your name. It's Victor. Victor. Oh, Victor saved his life. You know, Powder, what makes you different makes you strong. Oh, Always remember no, that. No, okay? what is happening? <laughs> The plot thickens. Okay, in this episode, we got introduced to a huge array of characters, which was not something I was expecting. I think because we followed just Vi and her her life in the first episode, I just wasn't expecting us to be introduced to this many new characters, let alone the person who's house was bombed in that first episode. I love when books and shows and movies do that though, when they give somebody who otherwise would have just been a background character or someone whose story we never would have known when they get a voice. It just makes the world feel so much more real, so much more nuanced. And now we as an audience have insight into what those blue orbs were that Powder found. Oh my gosh, that moment where Chase was gonna commit suicide was such a heart-wrenching moment and shows just how much he cares and believes in this project because if he couldn't have that, he felt he had nothing. And so I'm so glad that Victor came along, which was also so unexpected because he was kind of the one that turned him in to the Academy. I am so glad that he came around and that it seems like they're gonna work together and maybe crack this code. And I think if Vi ends up being captured and spending time in, uh, it's not called the upper levels. What is it, what is it called? Not Uptown, uh, the upside? I forget, but if Vi, ends up going there, I don't think she will stay captive for too long. I feel like she she has to have a plan of some sort. I could see her and Jace inevitably working together, maybe, possibly. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna make predictions and here I am. Something else I noticed during this episode, animation-wise, was just how detailed every action is that the characters make. From the lift of an eyebrow to a breath being taken in, I just everything is so intricate and so well done. Yeah, I feel like I've said it a dozen times now, but truly I'm just obsessed. I wonder if the professor, whose name I did not catch in this episode, but I'll get it down, I promise. Um, I wonder if he will end up coming around to help Jace or if he's gonna end up being one of Jason Victor's like biggest hurdles, because I feel he is so anti-magic after everything he's seen, which who can blame him? I think if he caught wind that Jason Victor are continuing to look into this and try to develop this magic, he would be 
really against that and try to do everything he could to stop it. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.